Now Tara and I are in the back porch of, uh, of the clam house here, and uh, he's going to point out some really interesting things they've done with the insulation, and we can actually see uh, kind of before and after a little bit, like the difference. Um, so Terry, so show us, tell us a little bit about, you know, this is, you know, advanced frame. Um, it's OHV framing, which is um, the, you, in the end, you get to greatly reduce the amount of actual wood you assemble a wall with, and you also increase the amount of insulation that uh -huh. winds up in the wall. Okay. And if you look at this, you can see that the studs are two feet on center. That's a 24 inch, right? Yeah, yeah 24 okay. inch on center. And then what's really different is that under every window, uh, there's ordinarily there's like a, a, a cripple underneath this two by four, and there's a cripple there, and uh, those are eliminated. The top plate is a sink. What, what's in place of them? Nothing. You okay. just, oh, you can you use metal clips. Is there like clip Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, but you, you don't really need all of that wood to hold up a single sill, you know, on, on a window. Uh, it's tradition, it's always done that way, but it doesn't make sense, really. Um, same on the header. Ordinarily, you put a 2 by 4 on either side to hold the header up don't really need it. Um, you have plywood on the outside to shear it up. You have clips to hold it. So in this one cavity alone, by two feet on center, you eliminate some two by fours. You eliminate the cripples and the uh, trimmers to hold up the sill and the header. Uh -huh. um, on the rake wall there, which you can't see, uh, there's no header over the uh, the window because the rake wall is basically non-bearing. You don't really need a header, but traditionally, uh -huh. Guys put in 4x6s and 4x10s where they don't really need them. Um, so if you understand the structural elements of it, you can really eliminate um, a lot of the wood that goes into it. Mm -hmm. I calculated the amount of 2x4s that went into this, small, very small, um, with the current framing compared to how we done a traditional framing, and it was a 23% reduction in 2x4s. Pretty impressive, you know, pretty good. And but what what you also get is one inch of wood is has an R value of one. You know, one inch of uh, of any other kind of insulation material has a higher R value. So the the more wood you eliminate, the and the more insulation you get, the more you value you get out of the wall cavity for insulation. And if you actually add it up in traditional framing. The amount of wood and junk that goes into a wall, huh? you don't get an R13 or an R15 that insulation value. You might get, out of an R15 rated, you might get an R10 or 11 because of all the studs and the, and the wiring and stuff in it. So by engineer framing, you increase the amount, the volume of insulation, which you know, improves the, you know, obviously the performance of the house. Uh, and this is, what kind of insulation did you end up using? Well, this is cellulose. Um, the cellulose is blown into all the other wall cavities from the outside after we put the OSB up. And in this room, it was netted. And then it got punched little holes in it. And he's got this tube, you know, this uh, huge machine out there with the tube. And he's blowing in and filling this up with uh, cellulose. You can see the cellulose is just newspaper. Um, and the cellulose is... Uh, recycled, non-toxic, it's got some boron in it, um, it's not fumacious or bad to breathe, um, and it's very, very fireproof, which is nice. Um, and what I like about uh, blowing is that it surrounds everything in the wall. You know, when you put in fiberglass, it's hard to cut around the wires and the, and the outlets and the plumbing, but this stuff just packs in around everything. So again, you get a really good, uh, you know, insulation value. And over here, mm -hmm. this is kind of cool because you can see the the old, what it was. Now, that's not too bad, actually. That's pretty tight insulation there. But there's a gap there. There's a 2 by 4 back here. So the insulation, this used to be the outside of the house. So the the heat loss in this one area would be pretty big. Um, and then, like, you can see where they ran wires through the heat loss this insulation is good, and it starts to fail over here. Um, once again, over here, um, the heat loss of this piece of wood is much greater than if it was solid insulation. This is 16 inches on center, 
and very old studs, very old framing. And so it's kind of cool to see the old with the new in the same room. This is now an interior wall, though. So we don't care too much about uh, insulation or heat loss. Because this will be a heated space as well. Uh -huh. Oh, and another thing on, on, uh, uh, on this type of framing is you use a single top plate and then your rafters line up with your studs so it eliminates the need for a double top plate uh -huh. um, because your rafter loads transfer right down to your studs. Uh -huh. The reason you have double top plates is because you can put anything anywhere you want it. Mm -hmm. And the top plates, two top plates act as a header. Uh -huh. But if you you know, lay out your framing carefully enough, you don't need that. Mm -hmm. And the inspectors didn't have any No, no, it's, it's legal. Questions. It's, uh, okay. it's a legal framing. Okay. Yeah, this is this is pretty cool doing this. And a 23% reduction in 2x4s is pretty impressive. It's a big cost savings, right? Well, it, yeah, the labor, is, it's faster labor because there's less wood to put up. You save on um, the material itself, and you get a higher R value in the wall.